Okay, in this video, I show you how to make a design in the Fusion 360 of this tool. You can see it here. Okay, let's get start. We create a sketch on this surface. We create a rectangle, center rectangle. Give it a size 300 and uh, for 800. Okay. Then we draw two other rectangles, make it 18 at the thickness of the wood board I use, and this make it 50. Enter, okay, and we use the sketch dimension. Short button is D to define the distance between this small rectangle and to the border of this big rectangle. Make it 50, okay. And then we draw a line. We draw a line, and we make sure that here snap to grid is checked on. Okay, then we draw a line along the green axis okay ESC and I press this make it a guideline okay I double click on the border to select this small rectangle and mirror we select this line as the mirror line okay so we got this and this Okay, and then we press this, hold shift button, this and this. We use this offset. Sixty and change the direction to inside. Okay. We use this fillet here, here, make it twenty. Okay, and uh, here also twenty. Here missed a line, so we draw it. Then we use the fillet to do this again. Twenty and uh, twenty. Okay, and here we make it sixty. Yeah, sixty. And then I draw another line. Make it a guideline. You can measure from here to here. Distance is 60. So I define this line to this line. Distance to be 30. Okay. Then I draw another rectangle, center rectangle. And uh, here make it 18. And here it's 60. Okay. We draw a line here. Okay. Then we draw another line. Make it four and uh, forty-five. Okay. Then we draw a circle. Okay. 
we use the mirror, select this circle, and we select this line to copy it. Okay. Then we press this and hold shift button, press this, mirror again, this time on this. Okay. We finish the sketch. And in the home view, we use this extrude. And we select all this, make it two sides to 9 and 9 okay so we have this this body we leave it like one and then we use the modify move and copy select this body and rotate and for the axis we select this do a copy of it 90 degree okay now we have this we use uh, and also we hide this we use extrude Select this, 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 this. Okay, two sides. Nine, nine, new body. Okay, this is, we name it, cut one. Okay, we hide this. We use extrude, select this. Two size, nine and nine. Okay, anyway, move this body. Rotate it along this axis 90 degree and not copy. Okay. Turn off the sketch. I turn on this. Okay. We use the split body. We select this and then we select this okay we hide these two and then we got this okay we name it black two arrow okay hide this arrow and uh, cut one we use this a split body we choose the this and here we choose the cut one. Okay. We hide this. We get this, we name it like one. And we turn on like two. So we can see the relationship between them. Okay. Uh, then on the top view
top. Okay. Okay. lines mirror this okay rotate Ninety degree. Okay. So we have this finish sketch. Then we can use the extrude. Okay. Make it minus eighteen. Here use cuts. Okay. Let me turn out the uh, like one, the like two. On top of you you can see this. Okay, so uh, this do is okay. We save it. Control S. Save it. Do use sketch and on this surface press P body this. Okay. Then we get this sketch. This is leg one. Okay. Then we turn on leg two. Create sketch on this surface. 
P, check this, and OK. Then we get this sketch, we name it leg 2. OK, so then we can right click and save as DXF to save it to your uh, hard disk and then you can import this DXF from Outcam. Sketch top. Okay. So this is the top. The XF. can see the size is the, exactly what we made it. <laughs> we make two paths. Use the eight. Okay, so we get this down, and then you can cut on your MDF or wood board. Then you can assemble them together. Okay, thank you for watching.